Hello and welcome to a short demonstration of my XML Reader program. This is aimed at anyone really who uses an e-commerce store and has sort of popular computer products and electrical products that they want to be able to add to their website in a very quick and easy way. For example, normally to add a product like this, in this case the Antec P193, it would involve a hell of a lot of copy and paste. All this information here, the form factor, the USB, the whip, the depth, the power supply, everything like that. But what if there was a way you could input the key details into a website, get it all the information you need, formatted, ready to copy and paste into your website. That's exactly what my XML Reader program does. Let me give you an example. This is it. This is the version one. We are developing a new system that is unbelievable. I can't even go into it at the moment. It's got so many features, formats, pulling fields, etc, etc. Honestly, you won't believe it. So this is the main screen. The product ID will always be the manufacturer's part number. So you know that if you've been sent a list from, say, Antec, as we're using in this example, you know that the MPA that you have got is correct. So in this case, we know it's the P193, because we can see it there, that's what I've added in. Uh, we know the vendor is Antec. So we're just going to search on, as you can see, I've already searched on that before. So the website goes off, does its stuff, and it will bring back the sheet, which I'll show you shortly. It's all fully customizable as well, so if you want to change things, like here we are, the description, wrap a H1 tag around that, specification, maybe add some styling to here, change the colours here, increase, change the type of borders, things like that can be changed using the CSS sheet. You simply provide us with the styles, we will code it, and you get it. That's how flexible it will be. So in this case, you can see I've gone with blues. Um, to match the site here, as you can see. And maybe I don't need description there, but I've kept it anyway, just an example. So now you've got all this, how can you get it? Well, you just scroll down. And if I just move my browser up a little bit, you can see here is your HTML. You just copy that, paste it into your program. In this case, we're using CS Commerce. Attach the style sheet to your existing website style sheet that we've that we can provide, and that's the result you get. So you take, just so just to run over it again, you take the product ID, you take the vendor, and it should generate the well it should it will generate description. The reason why I say should is that we offer a couple of subscription levels. If you're just starting out, we can give you access to say three thousand vendors. For the more advanced we can take you to five thousand vendors. And for the people who really want to go to town and have an up to date website that's easily populated, we can go up to ten thousand vendors. The amount of products that this will pick up, it pretty much picks up most sort of computer and electrical items on the market. If it doesn't, you can tell us what we need to look out for and we can get that added for you. So your data, you can pull, plug it in and away you go. Now a lot of people say, well, I want to read the data in automatically. I want to have an application that will press a button and read it in. That's all fine and well. But imagine you tell that to a developer. A developer takes the idea and develops it. They've then got a product they can sell to other websites. And then all of a sudden you've got 10 websites displaying information in the same way with the same data. So what makes you stick out? Okay, you might have a promotion, but then you, you ultimately could end up in a pricing war. That's why we let you do it this way. You've got most of the hard work here. As you can see, we've got the, the style sheets attached there. So you can customise it. If there's too much here, we can take it out for you. If you want a little bit more information, we can put that in for you. But ultimately, that's how flexible. So with the aim of two things, the product ID and the vendor, you can end up with a product that looks like this on a website. 
If you want any more information or any more details on how to purchase this or if you're interested in subscribing, drop me a message on the YouTube page and I will get back to you.